Homecoming, perhaps one of the most well-known and celebrated weekends across America. Originally an opportunity to welcome back those who have graduated or moved away, Homecoming has become an integral part of the American high school and college experience. This is the history of Homecoming. Many schools claim that they held the original homecoming in the early 1900s, but the most accepted origin was a football game held at the University of Missouri in 1911, in which the athletic director urged the school's alumni to attend. I, you know, it was pretty awesome, because you know what I did? Oh my goodness, we, like, we used my, my parents' truck or whatever to do the homecoming float, so I helped prepare the homecoming float. And then, oh my goodness, at ra the rally, we like, and we dressed all spirited, okay? And we had like, I remember because we were called Mickey Mouses and they used to sing the Mickey Mouse song, don't ask me why. Um, and so we like wore Mickey Mouse paraphernalia and we actually linked arms at the end and we, we sang our alma mater. Do you know our alma mater here? It would Creek High School? Homecoming for us was, I went to a pretty small high school, so we didn't do the floats and, and stuff like that, but it was all about the dance, and it was all about asking girls. We still ask girls in those days. I don't know how that's going. Um, we, uh, you know, just gearing up for dinner and, and getting the corsage and, and doing all that stuff. So that was, that was definitely what it was about. And then the football game and, and other things, certainly uh, rallies and you know, things made it special, but for me, it was it was all about the dance. The athletic director, Chester Brewer, planned a celebration that established the backbone for all modern homecoming events, ranging from parades and parties to a pep rally, and naturally, the football game. This is homecoming. 